Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Bowman's Best Baseball. It's a fun break. Eight box, uh, random team break number six. Tons of autos in here as well. And all card chip. Couple combos. There are the combo teams right there. Cleveland and Houston, Kansas City and the New York Mets. Big thanks everybody right here for making this break happen. I appreciate it. We did post another one on the, uh, the site if you want to run this back tonight. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams. Five and a six, 11 times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eleventh and final time. After eleven, we've got Eric C down to Jeff R. Five and a six, eleven times for the teams. One. Two, three, four. And 11th and final time. Good luck, gang. We've got the Cleveland Guardians, Houston Astros combo down to the New York Yankees. So, Eric, you'll get the Cleveland Houston combo. Jeff Russo with the Rangers, Charles with the Nationals, Bill with the O's, Mike with the White Sox with Last Spot Mojo, Justin with the Braves and Tigers, Charles with the uh, Red Sox, Ben with the Blue Jays, Nathan with the Twins, Charles with the Giants, Edgar with the uh, Cubs, Justin with the Angels, Stephen with the Brew Crew, Capola with the Phillies, Ben with the Rays, Kevin with the A's, Devin with the Diamondbacks, Philip with the other combo, Casey and New York Mets, Capola with Colorado, Scott... Uh, with the Mariners, Stephen with the Pirates, Charles with my Dodgers, Chad with the Marlins, Matthew with the Padres, Karen with the Cardinals, Trey with the Reds, and Jeff with the New York Yankees. Let's sort by column B, alphabetically by team. Chad has the uh, Marlins up for trade. All right, I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals done here on Monday the 10th. This is Bowman's Best, number six. Thanks, everyone, for making this happen. Uh, Mike Krasinski ended up with the last spot mojo with the White Sox. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Appreciate it. Scott, I think you might be lagging behind just a tiny bit, just by a few minutes, enough to enough to be a little ineffective during the trade window. Make sure you're watching live. That goes for everybody, really. There should be a, a live button on your browser, on your mobile device. If you click that or just refresh the app or the page, it should get you to the most current moment. Also, make sure you're watching at the highest quality possible. Sometimes that affects the, uh, the lag as well. Because we broadcast at 720p. We actually record at 1080p, so the break videos are actually going to look better than the live stream videos. But and the live stream is at 720p, and sometimes YouTube will automatically, you know, knock your quality down to like 240p. Can't watch Jaspies like that. <laughs> Make sure you keep an eye on that. All right, pretty great stuff in here in Bowman's Best. I think the design looks really, looks especially sharp this year. It always does, but especially this year, it looks really sharp. There's uh, four autographs per master box, which is really nice. And just, just a whole whole bunch of eye candy during this break. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Grizzle V's, shots fired, saying that I look better at 140p. Come on. Come on. I look the best at 1080p. 
This beautiful face right here. <laughs> we got the college national championship on the background. Kind of a slow game. I guess George is up 13 9 now. With about seven seconds left in the third quarter, so entering the fourth quarter. Maybe it'll be an exciting finish. All right. Good luck, gang. And of course, all card ship here. There's Cabrian Hayes to 199. Lava. That's for Stephen Flat and the Pirates. And we got Blaze Jordan. Blazing. Charles with the Red Sox. One of the big, uh, big up and coming stars right here. Yeah, you can't watch in 144p. That's like, yeah, that's just like watching Minecraft breaking. Although I would, I would imagine somewhere in the Minecrafting world, there's probably group breaks. There's die cut Henry Davis for the Pirates, and we've got something for the Braves. William Contreras. There you go for the World Champs, Justin, with the Braves. Alec Baum, Masterpieces. Colton Kauser, Atomic, Refractor, Mike Trout. Refractor, Jose Ramirez. 57 out of 99 for Cleveland. That's going to go to Eric C. And Jay Allen, Green, going to Trey. And the Red Legs. 6 out of 99. Got J.D. Martinez die cut. Marco Luciano reveals a Blue Jay, Nate Pearson. Ben Smith with the Bluebirds. And I'll do an autograph recap at the end. Box one in the books. Next one. Two, next four autos. And we do have another case of this in the store right now. Um, if you want to run this back, we do have the time to do so. Bowman's best is, uh, is pretty enjoyable. I like that in addition to, like Bowman Draft is pretty much strictly prospect hunting, at least with at least with Bowman's best, you do get an opportunity to maybe chase some uh, some current players, some current active players as well. All right, next one. Good luck. We got um, Benny Montgomery, Future Vibrance Lava Refractor. And behind him is Jose Devers. Rookie auto for Chad Daw and the Fish. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo.
Benny Montgomery for the Rockies. That's for Coppola. That's 39 out of 50, Grizzlebees. Jordan Lawler die cut. And we got a Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners. That'll be for Scott and the M's. Thirty-one out of fifty on the up and coming Mariners future star. Jason Dominguez Atomic. Sixto Sanchez, the 250 purple, purple refractor, and the redemption is Andrew Vaughn for the White Sox. That's Mike. Last spot mojo strikes again. 70% of the time, it's 100% of the time. That's what they say. Gold lava refractor. Nice. Congrats. Spencer Torkelson die cut. And behind Joe Adele is another Blaze Jordan. Blazing some trails here with Charles and the Red Sox. I wonder if Blaze Jordan cards numbered 4 out of 20 would do, does better on a secondary market. All right, next box. Alabama third and goal. Is this four down territory for them? No. There's full, full fourth quarter left. They can still get away with they want a touchdown, of course. But could they they could get away with a field goal? Thanks, Grizzlebees. Grizzlebees liked it. Liked the joke. Next box, good luck, good luck, good luck. There's Josh Donaldson, 149 out of 250. Um, for the Twins, that's going to go to Nathan Rossi. And for the Rays, Tampa Bay Rays, Ben Smith with the Tanner Murray autograph. Juan Soto die cut. And behind Christian Pache is your next auto. Twins, Mycel Urbina. From Minnesota, Nathan Rossi with the Twins. Atomic. We've got a Jackson Merrill. Yellow Lava to 75 for the Padres, Matthew. And the autograph is Pedro Leon for Justin. Nope, check that. That's a combo team. Eric with the Cleveland Houston combo.
Jazz Chisholm die cut for the fish. And behind Andre Simenez is to 99. Davey Garcia, Yankees. Jeff Russo. The green autogra autograph for the Bronx Bombers. Box, fourth box. All right, here we go. Box four. Javier Baez to 50 reveals a Tyler Black, Brewers. Stephen Flat with the Brew Crew. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. It's a refractor parallel. Baez, Mets edition here, will go to Philip. Miguel Cabrera die cut. Behind Hedbert Perez is a Malfreen Sosa for the Twins, Nathan Rossi. Chase Petty, Lava to 199. And for the Cubs, Christian Hernandez. Edgar with the Cubs. Alex Kirilov, Atomic. And we've got a Armando Cruz autograph for Charles and the Washington Nationals. All 
All right, halfway through this break, about another, oh, 20 minutes to go, 20, 25 minutes to go. We'll do, a, we'll do an auto recap at the end of this break as well. Yeah, I see a handful of orders coming in. So let's see. We'll after this break, we'll go through these orders from Terry, Sean, Maddox, Oliver Soria, C. Birch, Mark, and Ryan, and see uh, and see what's uh, going on there. Joe, did I see the article about? about I did. I did. I think. I think whether intentionally or I don't know if it was intentional or not, but the the numbering, the way they do numbering on this has changed, which pretty much makes all the prospects like Wander Franco almost like uh, to what most consider a rookie card, and that's what the the market is is showing that as well, especially for guys like Wander Franco. Something to do with the numbering, how they do the numbering. Bobby Wood Jr. to 250. And we've got Yiddy Cap, future vibrance autograph for the Marlins. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo for Chad Daw. 59 out of 159. Just for it's so oh, wait so it's just for this year's product. It's not continuing going forward. Interesting. There's Robert Pawson, A's Kevin. Well, traditionally, all cards ship in Bowman's best, so including this year so everyone will be getting all these all these cards so maybe a more more of a boost in value than normal you know for some of these players so keep that in mind there's Kyle Lewis 78 out of 199 lava for the M Scott there's Jose Garcia Thirty out of one fifty, Trey with the Reds. <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounds. That's what it's from the get go. That's what it sounded like to me. It sounded like Tops just made an made a numbering error, and at this point they're just like, fine, they're rookies. <laughs> There's Andres Jimenez. Yeah, it is going to be kind of weird because we're not going to see most of these prospects. I mean, Wander Franco, guys like him, we'll see, which is why I think his value has been boosted. But I think a lot of these, we won't really see these players for, you know, depending on if the whether they were drafted out of high school or college two two to five years maybe two to four years if they do a normal normal progression through the minors you know without injuries or whatever all right next
Right, so if you send these into Beckett, Joe P is saying to slab guys like Rushman, for example, they'll have the rookie tag in the slab. Yeah, because some guys like Akil Badu, Joe Adele, they do have the rookie right here. So are they saying that Benny Montgomery is a rookie now? Or does this only count for, for players who are going to be rookies next year? At least value-wise. That makes, makes it interesting. Christian Pache to 250 for Justin. And we got a Nick Maiden for the Phillies for Grizzlebees. So, I mean, are they so... I guess technically, according to the checklist, would Colton Kowser, this would be his rookie card? Is that what they're saying? Right. Or will it only count for the guys that are going to be called up next year, like Wander Franco? There's Tanner Murray. Tanner Murray for the Tampa Bay Rays. Ben Smith. 118 out of 150. Matt's arguing no one's going to care what Beckett says. Yeah, maybe not. I mean, maybe in a couple years no one's going to care. But right now people do because the prices of this Wander Franco have definitely seen a boost. Or maybe that'll just taper off. We'll see. We'll see how the market reacts as time goes on. Vlad Guerrero Jr. die cut. Christian Hernandez to 25. And Leover Peguero. The Pirates. And that's receiving flat. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Cunha Jr. die cut and a Wander Franco refractor. And their shirt and apostle. For the Rangers, Chef Russo with Texas. Yeah, I, I'm kind of leaning towards what Matt Jen saying. You know what I mean? I, I think, I think maybe now there may be some increase in activity on guys like Wander Franco, but I think ultimately when the official RC cards of any of these players right now and in the future, you know, I feel like the market will, will eventually, you know, shift to Wander Franco in here being this pretty, pretty much the same as Wander Franco official RC. But for now, those Wander Broncos definitely have value, but just keep an eye on the market, I guess. Is, I guess it's with everything, too. Just keep an eye on the market. They can go up and down. People's minds can change and shift on that sort of stuff. We'll see. That's time to me. That's part of the fun of the hobby is seeing seeing how the how the people how the market reacts to to various things like this in the short term, mid term, long term. Oh, 
All right. Next box. Ooh, Redemption coming up. So there is um, Sal Freelich, die cut, 47 out of 50. I feel like we don't see a lot of these uh, these die cuts actually numbered. We've seen some parallels, but Lava Parallel out of 50 for the Brew Crew. Stephen Flat, I think one of their up-and-coming prospects as well. And the redemption is Akil Badu, Detroit Tigers. Correct, very good point, Matt Jen. It's brand new. Price of cards on the first week of releases rarely reflect where, where they'll kind of eventually settle, settle into within a couple of months. Yeah, pro prospect hunting, prospecting is it's a market that you have to be careful about short term and long term. Most of the time, you just want to hold on to these guys. And there's Wilman Diaz. That'll be for the Dodgers. Charles with my Dodgers. Henry Davis, future vibrance, atomic parallel. Luis Robert to 150 for the White Sox. That'll be for Mike Krasinski. And there's Carlos Colmenares, Rays. That's going to be for Ben Smith. Jackson Merrill Refractor for the Padres. Got Jason Dominguez. Die cut. Jared Kalanick. And behind Dylan Carlson is, is Errol Vera. Autograph for Justin and the Angels. I pulled his Super Fractor Auto in like case number one or two. All right, final box coming up. Final box, and then we'll do a quick autograph recap. We'll move on to these orders that I'm seeing come in here, and we'll see what else we can get to tonight. Final four autographs. I like to see, it's, I feel like it's a pretty solid break. I'd like to see a train whistle out of here. That'd be pretty cool. And out of, uh, of out, do they have out of fives in this? Uh, out of five? Maybe a super fracture, one of one. This is national champion, college national championship game. We've got uh, Alabama with, I guess, had a touchdown. They're up 18-13. A lot of time left in this game. Nine minutes left in this game. With uh, Georgia has the ball. Yeah, Rebel saying maybe a red lava out of five. That would be pretty sharp. Hydrate a little bit in case there's a train whistle. All right, good luck, gang. Final box. An all card ship. There's Albert Pujols, Dodgers edition to 250. Charles. We've got a Rockies autograph. That's Ezekiel Tovar. That's for Grizzlebees and the Rocks. A little purple. Is that a purple parallel? No, I think it's just a base parallel. There you go. First auto. Of the box, three more to go. Got Harry Ford die cut, Xander Bogarts. And another autograph, this time to 75. It's Henry Davis. Yellow Lava on card autograph for Stephen Flat 
and the Pirates. 48 out of 75. Your number one overall pick. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. There's Jazz Chisholm to 99. And another Pirate coming up. That's another pro big name prospect. I think he was drafted a year or two ago. Leover Piguero. Or maybe signed a year or two ago. Either way. There he is. A couple Pirates for Stephen Flat. Yeah, I do like that color match too in the parallel over here. All right, fourth and final auto. There's Jose Abreu die cut. And behind Cubs edition of Nick Madrigal, there he is in a Cubs uni. I don't think I've seen that yet. Is for the Dodgers, Luis Rodriguez, little Dodger Joe Mojo for your final autograph. That is for Charles. Nice. And that, my friends, is that. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Let's do let's do a quick little uh, little recap here. I did like that die cut, that lava die cut. Why would someone try to trade the pirates? Maybe to try to get that tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo, Joe P. That's a possibility. Maybe they thought they can get multiple teams for one team. Maybe they're maybe they hate the Pirates. I don't know. Nice break, boys and girls. Thanks very much. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Joe P saying that would have been a great personal box. We do have personal breaks of these on Instagram at jazbeescasebreaks on Instagram Live. Jesse is making his Instagram debut right now. You can go say hi to him. You might have heard him on Whatnot before and around the shop. But yeah, he's on Instagram tonight, at Jaspies Breaks. We do have personal box of Bowman's Best. Imagine. Imagine. At Jaspies Breaks on Instagram Live. More of this, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.